our channel, Fly with the Dashes. If you don't already know us, my name's Amber and behind the camera is Billy and together we want to help you get the most out of your private pilot's license. So over the next six months we're going to be dropping in on 35 airfields to bring you honest reviews about the runways, things to do whilst you're there and most importantly the food as it's all about good airfield grub and helping you plan your next cross-country adventure. So like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram and stay tuned for the next episode of Good Airfield Grub Review. Today we dropped into Leicester, a lovely little airport just a few miles south of East Midlands and home to the Leicestershire Aero Club as well as Heli Centre Aviation. Boasting three hard and two grass runways, ranging from 935 metres with lighting all the way down to 340 metres. This summer, Leicester Airport is hosting the 2022 Stollfest, August 13th to 14th. Tickets available via their website, leicesterairport.com. Speaking of short field, it was my turn to fly in this morning, and although I'd originally planned for runway 28, which is the longest runway, the winds did change whilst en route, so I had to set up for runway 22, which is only 490 metres. I'm still a relatively low hours pilot, so this was actually the shortest runway I've landed on to date. So with full flap and really nailing that airspeed, I did manage to drag it in quite nicely, if I don't say so myself. A standard overhead join is preferred at Leicester, but definitely familiarise yourself with the different circuit patterns for each runway before arriving, as they do vary between fixed wing and rotary. After I finished patting myself on the back for a good landing, we taxied up to the roundabout-style parking area, which is between the clubhouse and Heli Centre Aviation. Fuel is available on site, and on big event days they have plenty of overflow parking for visiting aircraft. The landing fee for our four-seater single-engine piston was £15. There are a lot of stairs at Leicester Airport, so accessibility can be a little tricky. If you have any passengers requiring extra assistance, we definitely suggest visiting on a nice weather day so you can make use of their ground floor outdoor seating area. We headed upstairs to the cafe, which was nice and spacious with lovely views over the airfield. It even had a little balcony. With a larger sample menu available via their website, we decided to order panini off of their specials board. Served with a nice salad garnish, they were hot, crispy and delicious. And of course we had to sample the carrot cake, which I must say is the best airfield carrot cake we've had so far. It was definitely very good value, as lunch for three people, including drinks, came to less than £20. If you have a night rating, we definitely suggest you drop in on their Thursday curry night from 5 to 8pm. The bar is open till 10pm. PPR for Leicester can be done over the phone or via radio at 10 miles out. As I'd sampled the wine list with our lunch, it was up to Billy to fly us home. The wind had changed yet again, so he got to test out runway 28 for our departure, and it was lovely and smooth. Don't forget the Stollfest Summer Festival, this August 13th to 14th at Leicester Airport. If you'd like to stay up to date with the next episode of Good Airfield Grub Reviews, simply like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Fly safe, everyone.